hello everyone in this tutorial I will explain about binary instrumentation using LLVM previously I already explained about how to set up LLVM for RIS5 and also I have made a video for GCC set up for RIS5 also and once you already set up the LLVM then you can start the binary instrumentation so first make sure you have LLVM repository cloned on your local drive for example previously I have the LLVM cloned on RIS5 LLVM demo folder let's go into that directory in here you should already have the LLVM repository and if you don't have you can follow the previous video I will provide the link below and now what we need to do is open the LLVM directory if you can see we have LLVM folder here we will go into that directory and in my case I use visual code so I will open this folder on visual code or you can just run code dot and then the VS code will automatically open to that directory and now in here I have the default LLVM repository and I made some modification at the machine instruction pass which will modify the machine instruction before it will print it on assembly it will modify the binaries and the assembly code so this modification I got from Radhika Gozal she read a lot about writing a machine function pass in LLVM the step is actually pretty simple because LLVM does not provide a machine instruction pass it only provides the IR pass which is intermediate representation pass it can only modify the high level part not the assembly part so if if you want to modify some if else or conditional branch you can modify the flow but not as low as the exact assembly that you want so in order to modify the in assembly level you need to create a machine pass in this case she has machine function pass actually there is there are other tutorial that exists one is in the LLVM core book but I don't have the book so I will proceed with this tutorial in here she made machine function pass for 86 and what we can see this is the machine instruction printer pass it is located on lib target x86 here as you can see the content and also we will make a modification for the header the function pass we declare it in here and then for the target machine there is a little modification initialize and add the pass and that's it in this tutorial we will apply this addition to RIS5 compiler that we already set up in previous video so let's open the LLVM directory for development because if you open the whole RIS5 LLVM demo directory the VS code cannot handle all that big repository so the whole file is not monitored by VS code and you cannot track the change and what I do is I open the LLVM directory let's see we have on LLVM lib target risk 5 
first we add a machine instruction printer here we have RIS5 machine instruction printer I will provide the code in the link on description we declare the name and we create a class machine class and the important part we have run on machine function so basically run on machine function will be called on every function and it will loop on every block and loop on every instruction inside the basic block for each of that we have this information target information and debug location and if the machine instruction is maybe a store or load we will print this one will be done on compile process and will be printed on compile process and I have some check for if the instruction is returned and the machine function name is sound we will talk about this later but the, we will do a binary instrumentation in this part we will explain about it later when we compile the program because LLVM is big and if you just need the binary instrumentation you don't need to understand all layers but you, need, you just need to understand the flow another thing after we create our machine instruction pass we will declare it on risk5.h make sure you modify the correct file lib target risk5 risk5.h we add this declaration for initialization and create pass function the other modification is on the target machine risk5 target machine we have to declare the initialize risk5 machine instruction pass just like the above and add the pass on pre emit pass to phase in this phase the, the pass will loop on every instruction after it added with stack frame pointer actually the Radit Kago shall make example to put on add pre register allocation but after I tried it did not modify and it didn't check on stack frame assembly so what I did was moving it to the pre emit pass 2 also we add the pass file to be compiled by edit to by adding it to cmake list here you can see the RIS5 mesh instruction printer that we make is located in here and that's it that's the only modification if you want to modify the assembly output and instrument it using LLVM for RIS5 next step is to demonstrate our modification So in here, on our pass, we will comment the instrumentation first. I will show how the LLVM machine instruction pass, especially for you who, who never use RIS5 and try your first time with binary instrumentation for LLVM. This will give some understanding about how LLVM works in binary instrumentation first we need to recompile this LLVM that we modified go to the uh, your LLVM repository directory and build because previously I already 
mentioned about how to compile LLVM for RIS5 you just need to recompile it and you don't need to reconfigure and recompiling takes less time and faster than building from scratch because you only modified small parts of LLVM backend our modification is done and our ceiling should be already modified with this pass so when we compile our example in here I have example which is math.c in this file you can see that we have main and we have abc 0 1 2 and we count bc and actually this is just plus or ors this is just some function and print function will print the result of b plus c into a let's compile using our c line let's compile with our ceiling as you can see we can check the pass we can see that the pass is running in here we have the output in count function so actually the pass is running on every part of the code and it runs from the count function first it found a store 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 instruction load 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 and return it said it found return and in main function it said that it found store load store load and so on but no function because in here we say in here we write that if it's store then we say it found store if it found load instruction we say it found load and for return if it's return and this is inside the count function we say found return and now let's check the assembly we can do this by using object dump minus the the math and save it to math dot dump and let's check the math dot dump uh, let's check the math okay here here's the file let's check on the count count function I mean we see here this is the assembly line for count function we can see it found store um, four times and we can count it one two three four and also the load four times one two three four we didn't print at the add i and add word section and it found return it means the pass is stepping on this line and after that it will also print the store on main function 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the load store load and so on in this part if we run if we run the program using PMU math you should already install this KMU on previous tutorial and it will print 3 because this is our file let's move it to the side so we can see the original file and now we will instrument these binaries the return as you can see it is on register a0 
so if we can change this a0 to another value we can modify the result on this program right so let's change this value without changing the C program for example here I have the build MI which is build machine instruction actually there are many parameters that you need but you just need to put machine basic block here and machine instruction variable for for every machine basic block debug location and target instruction information which you can get using mf get sub target and get instruction info in order to get the instruction that you want to add in here let's modify the a0 a0 is x10 and x0 is hardwired to 0 so this will write like this addi a0 x0 and 8 but let's try to because previously we have 3 let's try to add like this we add more So this should be resulting on 5 A0 and A0 and 2 We add more 2 integer So what we expect is the result is no longer 3 but will be 5 Let's save and recompile Go to the build directory okay now the machine instruction pass is modified and let's recompile the math there's some print and let's rerun the math that's it the result is now 5 and let's see the modification that we made in the assembly save it to use object dump and save it to modify and see the math modified dump Here we can see the count assembly. There is another instruction in here. ADDI A0 A0 2 which means add more 2 on previously what's inside the A0 register and then return. This will add the current value of A0 with 2. Let's try to compile this exactly the same file math.c with gcc by gcc and let's run it Math by. the result is 3 so that's it our binary instrumentation tutorial i hope you can understand and we can have so many modification for checking you can use another way to check the instrument for that you can learn on LLVM wiki or documentation or other online forums or even mailing list that's it for this tutorial binary instrumentation by using LLVM on RIS 5